So I took your advice on Saturday, did a Craigslist posting. I, I got the, I got my couch. I got the chair. I got the two Ottomans. I loaded them up in the you truck. I took them out to the street Saturday morning. I put them out in front of the, the house. I talked to my neighbors just to let them know what's going on. And this wasn't turning into some sort of dump. Dump. Yes, exactly. I'm not dumping furniture. And they're like, well, nobody's going to come get them. And I'm like, yeah, they will. My buddy Jeff told me that I'll put them out here and within an hour they'll be gone. And guess what? Nothing. I got one call or text about 2 o'clock in the afternoon of some guy from somewhere that didn't even have a truck that was trying to get a truck to come pick up some, st- like, one of the things. I think it was why the chair offer, and the automobile. Why didn't you offer to take it to him? I'm not a delivery service. I don't know. By the time I pay the dump bill, maybe I should have. He's trying to get a ride. I'm where like, hey, guy, dude. Where was the guy from? He keeps texting me back. Where was the guy from? I don't know. I didn't ask. Why didn't you say, where, where do you live at? I got a truck. I got. I took him out to the end of my uh, my street. I could have, like, what if he lived, like, two blocks away? What if he lived in Grover? <laughs> yeah, what if he lived, like, two blocks away? I know. Away? I thought about and that you, later. It was, like, a five-minute delivery, and you could have well, unloaded the I still stuff. have his phone number here in my phone. Well, now. I had one bite. The one moment, bite. The moment has passed. Well, you did it on a horrible day. Nobody's looking to get free stuff off the curbside on he, a he, then, day that it rains. Let me tell you what he says <laughs> Why? Here. So now your stuff is wet? Because you've been no, been no, 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 no. This- I got it back in the garage. This is such a pain in the ass. So I got a couch, a, a big, huge chair, like uh, you know, like a living room chair with an ottoman. It's not. It's like a big, bulky piece of furniture, not like a, a chair you sit at a dining room table. You got to wait on the first night. And I got two ottomans, and I put it all out there. This it takes me two trips. Doing. My wife's yelling at me because she she pulled a muscle in her back, and I'm making her help me. So I get this text. It says, good afternoon. Do you still have the uh, the chair and the ottoman set available? I said, yeah, come get it. That was at 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock, he says, I'm trying to find a ride. I Craigslist said, is... I'll, I'll I said, you. hey, you better hurry. It's supposed to rain by 6. No sympathy. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. Because I'm working on it. This. Uh... And then he says, he says, uh, he says, is there any chance you can uh, move this stuff? Because I said it's going to rain. Uh, under a porch or something? I said, nope, sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> But they're on Hillcrest. See, you're you're not very. You got to be accommodating if you want them to come pick up the stuff. Like trying to have. I am being accommodating. No, it's just you, sitting you, you out even, there. You even come said, get it. You even said yourself, no sympathy. You said, oh, you better come get it. It's gonna rain. I mean, like yeah, I said it's gonna rain by six. Right then and there. Right then and there. I realize I'm dealing with a jerk, and I'm like, I'm not, whatever. I don't want to deal with the jerk. I'm picking up something for free. It's gonna hassle me. I don't want to deal with the jerk. So I text him back. I said, Are you still planning to come? Because I had I made up somebody coming to get us. Hey, there's somebody else that wants it, but I'll hold it for you because I'm a nice so guy. So you're a scammer. So I'm a nice you're guy. A scammer I'm not to a scammer. Get people to take your junk. And then he says, yeah. Thank you. He you says, lied about uh, I'm not that. able to find a ride. Let me know if it's still around on Monday. So I'm like, I'll tell you this: as somebody who sells stuff on Craigslist quite a bit, there's a lot of flaky people that live on on Craigslist. Like like people will email me about stuff that I have for sale. And they're like, hey, do you still got the such and such? And I'll respond back to them within a couple of hours. I'm like, yeah, did you want to come take a look at it? And then crickets forever. And then I'll follow. I'll do like you did. Sometimes I'll follow up. I'll be like, uh, hey, were you still interested in the thing? And nothing. No response back. I think what Craigslist is is people get interested. And they, then they find something else. Well, and it's better. Maybe, maybe, maybe that, or maybe they just like yesterday. I was at Costco, and my wife says, "Oh, maybe we should get that garbage can over there for the bathroom." And I look at the garbage can; it was stainless steel garbage can with the step, right? So it'd be good for the kids. But then I started thinking about it as we're walking around, and you have to buy two of them, of course, because it's freaking Costco. So I would have two <laughs> bathroom garbage cans. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one in the house, <laughs> and so. I'm sitting there and I'm walking around Costco and I'm like, God, I just picture the kids sitting over this trash can for hours, pressing on the step, letting it down, pressing on the step, letting it down, throwing whatever they can into it, letting it down. And I, and I look at my wife. It's a good thought. About 15 minutes <laughs> exactly later. Exactly what they would have done. I go, I go, you know what? I want to take these garbage cans back over to where, <laughs> where we got them. She's like, you don't want them? I was like, no, I don't. See, the thought process kicks in of buyer's remorse even though you haven't bought it yet and that's what happens i believe on crazy part of me felt bad because i'm like this guy doesn't even have a truck to come get this stuff you could have helped him out like if you would have forced i could still help him out he says hey let me know if you still have it on monday if you force his hand 
by taking it to him, he has no choice but to take that stuff off your hand. Well, that's what I'm afraid. I'm going to get there, and he's going to see it. He's going to be like, "Oh, it's all peeling back." I'm like, "Yeah, that's what I, I wrote right on the listing that you know that it's it needs to be recovered, but structurally it's in good shape, but it needs to be recovered." Yeah, you shouldn't have wrote that either. <laughs> what do you mean? I want to be honest with people. I don't. You're giving it to him for free. They got eyes. They I'm not see, delivering. They can see whether or not it's. I'm not delivering a whole living room set for free. When I'm giving it to somebody for free. Okay, well then... What, now it's back in my garage. So what are you going to do with it? I don't know. Is there... I, what am yeah, I supposed to... Tell, what what are my options? Right. I'll tell you this right now. You can't do anything with it because you just said it got cracks all over it. Nobody wants cracks furniture. You can see that in the picture. It, no, the furniture's not cracked. It's just the leather oh, is cracked. Oh, and you're surprised... It needs to be re, re, you, recovered. you surprised you got one inquiry about uh, something where you said, oh, beware, this has got cracks all over it, and then you post pictures of the cracks? I didn't say it had cracks. Gee, I wonder why nobody inquired about that. You're such a dumbass. <laughs> That's not what I said. Let them see it for themselves. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a virgin. Like, okay. I'm a newbie when it comes to Craigslist. I had okay? some Adirondack chairs, right? And I, I gave them away for free on Craigslist. And I said, Adirondack chairs, don't have any use for them anymore. Here you go. Well, underneath, they'd been sitting out in the outside forever. So underneath, like where the legs are coming together, they were getting a little bit of rot underneath. But I figured the person who was going to pick them up would look at them and go, okay, there's a little bit of rot there. We're going to have to saw that off and refinish it and do whatever we need to do to it to get it to work. But we'll go ahead and take it. But I didn't say, oh, it's got rot on it. Don't. I didn't say that. I said free couch, chair, and two ottomans. I have a couch chair and two ottomans that are free to the first person who grabs Too them. wordy. Well, this is in the description. Too wordy. All right, the title just says free couch chair and, and two ottomans. All right, then in the in the in the description it mm-hmm. says I have a chair, a couch and two ottomans that are free to the first person who grabs them. All are in good structural shape but need to be recovered. Two, three, All items are leather. The negative part right there. But need to be recovered. Nobody wants to recover leather furniture. So you know what you need to say? You oh, need to I don't want to. <laughs> wait six months now. Wait for people to forget. Repost that picture and say, first person who can take it gets it. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. That's all you say. But then they show up and they see, they it's see all, it. They see it. What crap. are they going to do? Take issue with you? You're giving it to them for free. No, they're going to leave. They're going to drive so off. what? At least you get 20 people coming by to look at it instead of one guy maybe texting you. So now i got to take all this stuff probably to the dump, right? What's that going to cost? Is there not a place that takes furniture in and recovers it? I'll give it to anybody who wants to, who's in the recovering business. Yeah. Nobody wants your junk. <laughs> But if you would have told them, if you wouldn't have told them that it was junk, if you wouldn't have told them that it was junk and you would have said, just hey, said it needs to be recovered. this is free, uh, come and get it, All right. uh, then somebody would have came and got it. Whatever. 93.3 rocks the 805. Thanks for nothing.